Find the laughter around you. Know how much better you feel. Feel it. Say to yourself, man, this works. I really feel good. It's everywhere. If you go to a gym, there's humor there. I work out almost every day. There was a guy at the gym today. Every gym, almost every time I work out somewhere and I travel all over the world, there's always one guy in the gym that I call butt crack man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's the guy who walks in with these baggy sweats. Everything's fine until he bends over. You know, and then it's like, whoop, there it is. Whoop. And you're looking at this thing and it makes me want to get my Amex card and just swipe it, you know? You just... <laughs> That's funny, it's declined. <laughs> Feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. Think about it. It's absolutely impossible to stay motivated throughout the day if you're harboring negative emotions or if you have a bad attitude during the process. It is. And the reason why people in business consistently fail over and over again, the reason why you may be having trouble achieving your goals it's not because of the challenges. It's not because you're not smart enough. It's because somewhere along the way, positive momentum ceases. You see, and the reason why positive momentum ceases is because the individual is focusing all of their energy on what isn't working, wallowing in the problem, and not leaving any room at all in that brain of theirs for positive thoughts to seep through so they can come up with healthier alternatives and solutions so they can move forward throughout the day and deal with the next challenge that will inevitably follow. Feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. First of all, why would you want to start your day focusing on what isn't working? Why would you want to do that? Why do we do this to ourselves? Because it's part of the human condition. We always focus on our lack. We do it all the time. But what I'm asking you to do is to get your shift together. In other words, as soon as you open up your eyes, rather than focusing on what isn't working, focus on what you have. Focus on your assets. Focus on the things that you appreciate, the things that you are grateful for. And I don't care who it is or what it is. Maybe you're thinking of the person lying next to you. Maybe it's your children, a particular event that's coming up. Maybe it's the birds singing outside your window, the dog lying by the side of your bed. We could all find something to be grateful for. Why wouldn't you want to start your day focusing on what you're what you're appreciating. Why do I want you to do this? Because starting your day with an attitude of gratitude simply makes you feel good. Feeling good is the fuel that drives motivation. Humor is everywhere. Look at your kids. How many people have kids? Oh my God, you know, we, we're, we're getting ready to go to work and we let precious moments go by. And we can't understand why we're all stressed out. These are precious moments. We look at our kids as annoying little people that we have to take care of before we go to work. They're funny people, except for preteens. Preteens, that's a frightening category, man. People have preteens in this audience, you know what I'm talking about? Preteens are scared. I mean, preteens are like homeless people. You tell them what to do, they walk around the house mumbling. I didn't even do nothing. What are you picking on me for? Everything except to go wrong. I've got to get in trouble all the time. This is patient worse than living in a prison for crying out loud. You're probably not my real mother and father anyway. It can't be my mother and father. And you look at them and you say, what are you saying? Nothing. can't even breathe. <laughs> watch, how, watch how your kids grow up to be just like you. My son thinks he's a comedian. <laughs> Not funny. When he was younger, when he was in elementary school, people, I'm serious, he was making people laugh, but he didn't know when to stop. He always thought he was on stage performing. We had a problem. He was getting in trouble. One time he came home from school. I said, hey, how was school? He said, good crowd, good crowd. <laughs> I said, don't get smart with me. He said, whoa, don't worry. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> he even does impressions. First day of school, the teacher said, so young man, what's your name? And he went, well, what's it to you, lady? <laughs> teacher gave me a call, Mr. Rizzo. We have a problem. Your son thinks he's Jack Nicholson. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Nothing can help you to enjoy what it is that you do more than a sense of humor. It is the instant mind shift. It helps you to enjoy yourself. And unfortunately, enjoying ourselves is something that most people leave by the wayside today, especially when we're setting out to achieve our goals. You know what it is that you're doing, the pressure that you're on in sales. Are you kidding me? When the ratio of no's outweigh the yeses, that's when the stress level can get a little too intense, self-doubt, overwhelm, fear, anger can become real dangerous mindsets. Without you realizing it, enjoying yourself becomes secondary. 
Think about what it is that you're trying to accomplish because that's when it has to become primary. Studies have shown that people who make a conscious choice every day to enjoy themselves during the process of whatever it is they're trying to achieve are more creative, they're more productive, they're able to bounce back a lot faster from life's challenges, and they're able to find solutions to problems a lot quicker. Now, having said that, I would wager any amount of money that most, if not all, of the people in this room, when you're writing out your plans and your goals for the future, short-term, long-term, nowhere on those lists do you ever include enjoying yourself. That totally blows me away. You want to get your shift together, use your sense of humor, Use the power of your thoughts to shift things that, that you're grateful for rather than wallowing of what you no longer have.